So next we're going to go to an 800 game. Uh, this game is between Fire Emblem streamer Mings um, and Billy Bones. I think Billy Bones is from Wargroove, where he plays a lot of Test Your Metal. And um, in the asynchronous format, he was like doing really quite well. Um, like I think he's a very underrated player if it's the same person. And then, um, yeah, he recently entered the live tournament and did not quite as well as he does in Tuster Metals due to the, presumably due to like the time constraints. And it's hard to play with to play with time constraints if you're not used to it. Um, but yeah, Billy Bones, like experienced board group player, all that stuff. And then Mangs, of course, has plenty of advanced wars experience, but not too much competitive experience. Um, their ratings. Mangs has 30 games and is at 786. And Billy Bones. He's an Advanced Wars and Groove player from, sorry, and Go player from New Mexico. And he's up to 80 games played with 881 ranking. Yeah, as I expect, I, I expect him to get pretty good at Advanced Wars. Cool. So let's sort of, I mean, this is, this is interesting because it's two players that are kind of outside the, uh, um, the normal advanced wars spectrum like coming in from the angles of fire emblem and um war group so it's interesting to see how they play our game all right so mains moves first okay so Mangs goes airport first here um i see people doing that um I know Voice of Akasha and Jokas when playing this map go for go for this route first. Um, I I think I think I prefer going this way first because it's a capture chain of one, two, three, so delaying it um, costs you three thousand gold. Um, or I guess the it costs you the difference, so the difference is two thousand gold um, in the long run. Um, airport first. The issue with going airport first is like it pays off when you're um, let's see it pays off when your airport nets you an OAV copter, but I don't think it does in, on this map. Um, I mean, the other good thing about this is that it gets you the comm tower early, or it can get you the comm tower early, um, and the comm tower can be contested on this map with like a fair amount of vigor. So. Um, so yeah, airport first, not not my not my personal choice, but like, you know, not a mistake that loses you an 800 rate game. Okay, so Billy Bones skips his nearby captures to go forward. Um, he's lashed into Sonya. Oh, okay, we should talk about that. Um, picking Sonya in tier three, I think, is gonna always be a mistake, pretty much. Um, our super CEO power. Well, cool versus um, computers doesn't work too well against humans. Um, I mean, there's some, there, there are some strats to use it well, but it's, it's not easy to get value out of. So, yeah, Sonya really not, does not have a good matchup versus Lash. Okay, let's continue. Okay, Billy Bones also does airport first with Lash. Um, yeah, airport first is like even a little less attractive because your e copters are just don't get powered up by your super CO power, so nothing special about her e-copters. Okay, then port going for this last I think is probably a, an econ error, but um yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, and then Mangs go went uh, forward again, not ca not back capping this way, because the capture chain you can do is capture, capture, capture. Um, yeah. Oh, I guess it's capture, capture, move, capture. Like is the more clean way to say it. Okay, but this inventory goes for the capture chain.
Okay, more pretty reasonable looking captures. Mengs has an artillery build if he likes, but he helps with T-Copter. I've not seen T-Copter on this map yet. Looks like Ming's early infantry skipped all the way up to capture that city. Um, I think it's a little unnecessary because in the games I've seen, bottom player ends up with this city anyways. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it works out. So I was expecting a mech here so that the T-Copter can transport a mech to the front line. But it looks like infantry will do instead. Okay, tank on his on his leftmost base in response to Billy Bones tank. Okay, the T copter takes the infantry to this corner. Um, the issue is uh, Billy Bones already has pressure on this city, so I don't think. And plus, this infantry kind of captures it anyways. So maybe it would have been better to go take that city earlier. Well, it's only accelerated by one turn. Well, we'll see. I mean, generally what happens is, like, the two base side overruns the one base side. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't expect Mang to be able to get that city without a fight. But maybe Billy Bones doesn't decide to fight there. Okay, triple tank on the... Okay, four tanks, actually. So, Billy Bones is going super tank heavy. Um, an artillery on the right-hand side would be my preference. Um, because there's so many infantry around to shield it that artillery can easily get into good positions. And there's some really good spots, too, with Lash. This city, this silo, um, both good spots to park artillery. And then you can sort of sneak up around the side with artillery and Batter down the HQ. Okay, I smell a dead tank here. You can attack from the silo with lash power, does 130 damage, 140 with tower, 120 from the planes, park and start capturing with that infantry on the city. That's like a really brutal. Tactic. Yep, see you later. Interrupts the cap, kind of. That position is maybe a little bit far forward because main some counterattack from here and the city. Um, but that's okay. Yeah, Billy Bones has like twice on a row done the moves that come to mind for me. So uh yeah, I mean definitely good showing from him so far. Yeah, so Ming so far has lost a couple of tactical fights. Um the city that he skipped a few city builds city captures to get to early has been recaptured. Um, so like nothing's really going his way right now. Um, he also has a T-copter that hasn't really done much for him. He keeps placing it like one square away from mech range. If he was, if the T-copter was here instead, then it could go back here, pick up a mech and then deploy it quickly. But since he keeps putting his T-copter one tile outside of that, um, he's not going to be Transporting mechs in the near future. Um, by the other metrics, it looks like um, unit count is about even, and then econ is about even. 
Um, Billy Bones does have a slight income lead of 2K, 1K now. Okay, kind of goes for a tower snipe here. Uh, I like the idea, but this tank is just a little out of position. If it was over here instead, then it could counterattack the tank interrupt. Um, so yeah. And you think Mainz doesn't have any anti-air, so the B-copter build here is very strong. We'll see if he builds an anti-air on the left. He doesn't. He, he doubles down on mechs. Uh, yeah, Mangs likes mech spam, I think. Um, from the few games I've seen, like, Sina Pez, like, he really goes hard with the mechs. Which, you know, it can work at the lower level, but um, once you get good enough, it, it becomes an issue. Uh, for the reasons that I've stated already. Just it's a little bit it's a little bit slow and it loses to medium tank artillery. But like, you know, that's just the theory, you know. <laughs> Implementing it in practice can be kinda hard. Okay, so now Mings is starting to feel the economy. He's even on his opponent's at the beginning of his opponent's turn, which is a bad sign. Um, unit count's okay, and income is even. Here comes the artillery to bash down the HQ. Good idea by Billy Bones. Okay, that's kind of an interesting join. He attacks and then joins with the 6 HP infantry. Um, looks like it doesn't net him any extra money that goes towards any builds. I think I would have preferred to repair the infantry again, but that's just personal preference. Oh, and there's the strong V-copter build with no anti air to contest it. So Mainz has to retreat with his infantry this turn on the left. Okay, Mangs actually has super CO power. Um, let's see if he pops it. Okay, here comes counter break. Um, so, all right, before we see what he does, um, the idea with counter break is you want to like force yourself into a position where your opponent kind of needs to counter attack and can't. Um, so like that's especially good in like tank tank matchups, um, you know like you're kind of worried about ant artillery fire because it uh, because artillery fire doesn't interact with counter break. Um, I'm not really I have played a lot of Sonya actually, so I'm not I'm not like super good with her, so I don't have great um, ideas. But like the the main thing is just you want to. Um, uh, you want you want to like take trades that your opponent can't punish anymore. Like that tank positioning is like totally fine because uh, uh, it, it, that's a nice use of like of counter break, sticking your tank out there, and nothing can hit it without getting hit first. Okay, he attacks this way anyways with his infantry, which I think is not a good idea. You want to keep your infantry healthy for your for the HQ push so that when you build an artillery here, you have a lot to shield it. So yeah, I mean the voice of Akasha strat is just spam artillery from this base, from these bases, and then just like rush the HQ down while staying alive on your HQ side. Um, but you know that's easier said than done because you have to balance not getting killed yourself. Okay, it looks like the t copter is finally about to tra transport a mech, which is like perfect timing. Okay, gets a couple kills on the right side. It's good, but I think 
He's about to lose a lot. Whoops, wrong button. <laughs> Spoiler alert, he does. <laughs> Okay, attacks, attacks, attacks. Oh, Mangs loses a tank. I pressed the wrong button again. Yeah, and this is just like a really scary force. And with, when you're down this far in unit count, it uh, you, you start having big problems. Okay, and Mangs resigns here. Um, that makes sense because, uh, yeah, the push on the right hand side is really strong. Billy Bones actually smartly builds another anti air um, to, to back up this force. Two artillery, three tanks, countless infantry, and not much to defend it. So, yeah, good game to Billy Bones. Like, um, I don't think Mangs should feel bad about that loss. Like, Billy Bones really played super well for being in the 800 range so yeah good, good on belly bones um and then yeah tough luck to mains okay